welcome to Learn and Play. We are back with our first summer's Learn and Play for the month of June, and we're excited to show you guys some fun summer activities. All of these activities can be done outside, but we will be doing inside for right now. But don't worry, they're super, super fun. So our very first one we're gonna go ahead and have birds start working on. This one is meant for you to make giant cardboard letters and then you hang them on the fence and then you finger paint with these while they're hanging on the fence. So you could use um, temper paint or washable paint that way you don't do any too much damage or you could use washable paint that we have a recipe for we were so willing to share with you. But paint, color it in, you could finger paint it on, splatter some paint on their fingers, let them have at it and they get to color in giant letters with their na of their names while hanging out outside and getting some outside time. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, could you? So while she's working on that, I'm actually gonna start showing you guys our next activity. So what we're doing here is normally, I mean, they're finger painting. They can get paint wherever they want to get it from, but we're just gonna squirt it on there. While she works on that, I'm gonna show you guys how to make these really cute popsicle holders so that way while you guys are outside enjoying finger painting you can make little popsicle holders to avoid those little sticky fingers and all of that yuck and keep your hands kinda warm so you just need a piece of felt Go ahead. piece of felt and then you're gonna outline it on the bottom and then you're gonna outline it on one side of the edge. So parents, you are more than welcome to do this part ahead of time. And then you could use fabric glue instead of hot glue so that way you don't have to worry about them burning their cute little fingers to seal it closed. So once you have that, you're gonna want to fold it over and make the sides meet and then push down. So once you push down on that, you will be creating a seal and you're gonna have this cute little pocket. Remember, you only wanna put glue on one of the sides. You don't wanna put it on all of it because you wanna be able to slip your popsicle in. Just for reference, what we did is just put a popsicle inside and folded the fill over it. That way we knew what size we needed when making these. So then it's gonna slide right in there and you have these really cute popsicle holders. Then from there, what you can do is decorate it. So we have pom-poms, beads, sequins, and all kinds of stuff, but you can basically grab whatever you have at home to decorate it. Let me see, she's just over there finger painting away. You mean you can never go wrong with finger painting. Finger painting is always fun. I'm just gluing down some sparkly pom-poms. You could decorate one side, you could decorate both, whichever one it is. These are just fun summer activities that you can do at home, inside and or outside. That way, you know, help fight that summer boredom of like, well, can, can we do next? This is what you can do. So they fill it in. You could do just the first letter of the name or if you have enough cardboard pieces, you can do every letter of their name and then they can create this really pretty mural that's one of a kind to them of their name decorated. So then glue some popcorns. I got these cute little popsicle holders and it is all set and good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue hers down next. That way it's ready for her to go. So again, parents, you can do this part in case you don't want them touching or working on the hot glue and just use some fabric glue to glue the decorations down, whichever one works for you, or if you want to dab the hot glue on there that way, they're not touching it, that's perfectly fine as well. So you again, just wanna make the corners match. And then press it to seal, and then your popsicles will fit right on in. So, and now that your fingers are still dirty, we're gonna get them dirty again. So now we are gonna make Playing with more paint. This is why these are summer activities because they're fun to do outside. We are going to get your hands, your little one's hands, and you can make animal shapes out of your fingers. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to cover your whole hand with pink, okay? Okay. And purple, because I have purple. Well, it's gonna be pink purple. We are gonna try making a flamingo with our handprint. Yeah. So this is gonna be really, really cute because then they're keepsakes, so they can remember the summer, or you can remember the summer when they were younger by decorating and making animal shapes out of the hand. So you wanna put your hand like this, okay? Okay. Just hold your fingers. Close your fingers like that. Just spread your thumb out. So smush your hand right in there. The less paint you have, the better it will be with your hand print. So then you have that. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a finger and you're gonna go up right here. Or you're gonna use this shape like this, okay? And you're gonna stamp it right there, okay? Like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because that's gonna make the neck and the head. And then we'll color it in. But you know we gotta give a flamingo its head, but even if they miss some spots then you could just finger dab it in to make the shape. We'll give our flamingo a pretty little necklace and that's why it's sticking out. Because you know how flamingo's heads hang over. So then what we need from there is now just a marker. And then of course you can wait till it dries. But you'll draw a little beak. And then you draw its legs that it stands on. But we'll just draw one leg and then we'll draw a leg over here. Because you know flamingos stand with their legs pointed up. So then you have a flamingo with handprints. So then we have that. Next we have some more fun activities for you guys. You can go ahead and rub your hand on that one. <laughs> so now you're going to get some paint. And since these are all activities you can do outside, what we're going to do is we're going to put globs of paint on here. And we're actually going to get a straw because what you're going to do is you're going to create art using air and paint. So you're going to want to blow the paint in the direction you want it to go. So go ahead and blow it that way. And then you can do it with multiple colors. Again, if you're doing this outside, you're totally fine. But you can get multiple colors. The harder you blow, the more it'll spread. Try towards the edges first. It's always going to try towards the edges first because then what it'll do is it'll actually spread the paint. Blow right there. See? And then they can spread it to look however they want to look. That's good about this. As you're working on their air and lung strength, but you are also finding a way to keep them totally entertained because it's going to take a while for them to spread the paint in the multiple colors. So let's say that's how far we want the pink to go, but then we want purple over here. So then she can go ahead and blow and spread that purple. Don't worry if your spit starts getting into it, it might happen. <laughs> so then they'll spread those all over, but they can create one of a kind abstract paintings with just paint a straw in the air that's coming from their lungs. So we have one more for you guys while we still have you. We have little spinny discs. So what you need to do is you're going to color each side of them. You can put patterns on both sides. Just rub your hands a little bit. Patterns on both sides, and then the patterns you create will be spun around in a circle. We're being creative here. We can get, or you can definitely do that at home if your kid still has paint on their hands from finger painting on the wall. Just have them rub their hands all over their disc. So once you do that and your discs are co covered and or colored, you're going to want to get string. I would recommend it making it about 24 inches, which is two rulers long in order to get this to work, okay? So. Then you make these little circle disc. All you have to do is just cut it in the shape of a circle. After you cut it in a circle, you want to put two little holes right in the middle of it. And then with those holes, you're going to thread your string through one side and then you're going to thread 
the other end in there as well. So one end for each hole. Then you're gonna push it right on through. And then from there, you're gonna go ahead and tie those ends because we don't want our little discs to fall off, okay? So then, you can push it towards the middle, you stretch your string out. So from there, you're gonna spin it, okay? You're gonna spin till your string gets all wound up. And then, if once it's spun, you're gonna go ahead and pull it straight, and then it's gonna untwist itself. So if you created a design, you're gonna see that design spin nice and fast. So we're gonna spin it some more, and then we're gonna pull it. That's cool. And then, ta-da, you made a they made their very own toy that will hopefully keep them entertained for a while. So you see her color spinning, so we're going to spin that again in a circle, and we're going to let it go. But if you get it to spin just straight, it spins and makes a cooler design. So we got to get it to go straight. So then it goes sideways. It goes every which way. It's actually really fun and entertaining, especially when you, since they're made out of cardboard, you can make so many designs that it can look like all different types of things. So we have that for you. And then there's that. So that was quick and easy, but these are all fun summer activities that can be done outside that anyone and everyone can enjoy. And we hope you guys enjoyed exploring the world of STEM with us today. And if you try these out, let us know. Send us a picture, post it in the comments. Let us know. We love to see if you guys ever try these activities at home because trust me, they are fun and you do not want to miss out. I will see you guys next month for Learn and Play and we hope you guys enjoyed.